Hello, crafty friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Anthony, and I have a little crafty Dollar Tree supply haul. So I was in there, and I picked up some items that I can um, bring home to use in my crafting, my junk journals. So let's jump on into it and see what I picked up. Uh, first, I did grab some clear, uh, it's the Jot Mailing Crystal Clear Tape. You get two rolls in the package. So I did have uh, grab that so I'd have it on hand. I was excited to find that my Dollar Tree had the little coin envelopes. So I did pick them up in all three sizes. I did grab two of the, I grabbed two of the larger size. These are the three and a half by six and a half inches. You get 15 coin envelopes in there. And then I also got the medium that are 3.2 inches by 4.5 inches. And you get 20 in that one. And then the small one, you get two, you get 30 pieces. They are 2.24 inches by 3.5 inches. So got those. I can't wait to like decorate those and use them in my journals. I did grab another package of the time cards. These are by Jot. Um, you get 50 of them. These are nice to alter to use in your journals. Okay, by Crafter Square, I found two new paper packs. So I haven't opened these up. The last ones I got, if you remember, the ones where the picture didn't match the paper. So let me see, this one looks like it, like they're right, but this one you get 24 sheets and they are six by six. So you get all those in there. So yeah, these actually match. The uh, actual packaging. <laughs> nice and bright, these have a shiny um, a shiny consistency, which um, these would be great for cards or tags. Nice and bright. Now I saw that one up here. Oh no, it's different. It's different. And then super cute. And then this one here. Also 24 sheets. You can use these to, um, with your die cutting machine, it's a thick card stock, which is nice. Love the colors. So that's the paper that I got. Then I picked up some new fabric, the Crafter Square fabric. Um, 18 by 21 inches. I got this one with the sunflowers and the beehive. And I, I like to use this fabric for my journal covers. I got that one. I also picked up this one. Love these uh, colors, the gray and the mint green. Really pretty. And then this one, 
Like these came in a, you know, a set where they kind of coordinated. So I got those two from that set. And then I got this one here with the hummingbirds. Really pretty. I have a friend in mind. I want to make her a journal, a hummingbird journal. So I got that. Actually, I got two of those. I'll only open the one. There's the other one. And then I got this one, which is <clears throat> red, white, and blue. And I'm going to probably make um, some patriotic or use it with my red, white, and blue um, Pioneer Woman items. So really cute. So those are the fabrics I've got. And now I always look at other items and, and see <clears throat> how they would work for my crafting. So I found this patriotic scatter, which are these little patriotic gnomes. And I think these would look really cute on a cover. They're kind of, you know, they're thick, but not too thick. I could uh, glue those on a cover. So you get two of each design. So those two. And those. And then this one. So I thought those were really cute. <clears throat> uh, what else did I get? I did pick up a package of the napkins that came in. They were with the luau theme stuff love using napkins for uh, my journals and also uh, in this Facebook group where uh, we do Bible journaling with napkins and we share them so I did pick up this package at 25 in the package so I'll be able to share these as well as use some in my crafting I found this cute little sticky notes um, little holder by Jot. You've seen these before. This is a new print uh, with the strawberries. Um, comes with the, the large list pad and then it has the smaller sticky notes. So really cute with the Velcro closure. So I pick that up. I found three different um, Happy Planner sticker books get 1557 stickers this is an awesome deal um, they do sell these at Walmart as well as um, the other craft stores like Hobby Lobby and um, Michaels but um, yeah for a dollar 25 to find them really really nice deal this one is the seasonal the seasonal um, theme there's Christmas, Halloween, fall, Easter, spring, summer. Oops. So really cute. So I got that one. Then they also had the uh, seasonal with the 1,607 pieces. And that one had back to school. I think I actually had this one before. And then the last one I picked up is a student one. Oh, I should have got a couple of these. These would have been great to go in, um, in some graduation gifts for my girl's friends. But as a student, one. We might have to go and grab a couple more of these if they have them. So yeah, I got those, which love to use the stickers on other items, so I got them. Now in the nail section, I did pick up these nail gems. You get 120 pieces, but 
I thought these would make cute embellishments on craft projects. There's little flowers and little um, little dots. And they look like this. They do have another design. I forgot what they were, but I did not grab those. Oh, I think they were just the little, um, little gemstones, which I have so many of those. That's why I didn't get, get them. But I like the little flowers that are in there to add to some projects. Okay, the last items are from the patriotic stuff that I figure I can use these bandanas. It's the two bandanas. Their bandanas are nice. I like to use them for journal covers. Sometimes they're see-through where you have to, you know, add another layer underneath so you can't see what you're covering if it's something that has a design on it. But I got these two, which I thought would make great journal covers. And then I picked up this banner more for like ephemera. They're little uh, popsicles, patriotic popsicles. So I figured taking them off the twine and I can use the twine separately. But it's just, it's blank on the back. I can cover it with white or lined paper or something if I want it. I can write little notes on it. These are great, would be great for happy mail as well to send a little note with some happy mail. So I did get that and you get a lot with it. So um, yeah, it's a seven, seven feet banner. So let me see how many popsicles this is. One, two, three, four. So you get nine, or is it 10? I might've missed that one. Let me count it again. You see one, two, yeah there's 10 you get 10 popsicles I was wondering why they would have did the odd number so yeah that was me there's 10 there and then I picked up these window clings now this one would match perfectly well both of them actually with like pioneer woman papers and stuff that I have old an old planner and things that I'm going to use to make a journal with. So this one here has the truck, says 4th of July, proud to be an American, united we stand, love, uh, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, freedom. I love this floral arrangement in the galvanized bucket. And then the cowboy boots, really cute. And then this one here, the floral star. So all different uh, pattern stars, really cute. So that's my haul, y'all. These are my crafty items I picked up for this week. So hope you like it. I will be trying to share videos of me using some of these items as well as items in my stash. I still have my little jars with the little names of different things that I have in my uh, supplies that I want to just do like the um, the may the mayhem uh, challenges that Dear Julie Julie uh, has. Uh, I want to use that concept and try to use some of the items in my stash by just pulling. I said I was going to do it before, but never stuck to it. But it's still in my head to do. It's just a matter of me finding the time and when my eyes is working where I can see that's been my struggle lately as you know I mean there's things I like the puzzles cannot do the puzzles right now I cannot see hardly to put the puzzles together so still good and bad days they're still trying to figure out what's going on with my contact there's something keeps building up on the outside which makes it hard for me to see through the lens. So we're working on that. They've changed the material and it's still an issue. I've went to see a specialist to make sure that I don't have anything blocked coming from my eyelid, like pores or anything that's doing anything. But they said my eyelid is healthy. They don't see anything there. Thank you, God, because I did not uh, want to have to go through any procedures for that issue. So I don't have that going on. It's just, we don't understand what. I wore this contact for three years when I needed to see, because I'm blind in the left eye, if you haven't been with me and don't know that. 
So they had to make a special contact for me to be able to see how to drive and everything using my right eye. And now all of a sudden when it was time, well, well overdue, I wore it for three years, but I needed to get a new one and I've been having issues ever since. And that's been since December. So we'll see what happens. Y'all keep me in, in your prayers. I know God can heal me. He's the only one that can. So I still, I pray for my eyesight as well as him to heal my hip. I have days where I can't walk. I'm due for a hip replacement surgery, but I'm trying to deal with my husband's health right now, which he's doing awesome. He is in remission from his cancer. I'm just talking away, but I, it's been so long. I, I know the ones that watch my videos, I, I think they would like to have an update. So if you didn't want to hear it, I'm sorry. You can just shut it down now. But um, I appreciate you that keep coming back and praying for us. And I'm excited. Friday, the girls graduate. And yes, they'll be 18 in July. And we're just getting ready for the next chapter in their lives. And I'm just so grateful and thankful. And with everything, we still are blessed. So you guys, thanks for stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already done so. I would love to have you be a part of my crafty family. So until the next one, everyone, keep crafting. Bye-bye.